This week we're talking about embellishment. Embellishment is a perennial theme in autumn fashion because when the sunshine goes you need some sparkle to fill that gap. And this autumn it seems to be the case more than ever. I think that's because it turns out last autumn when the clothes that you see now were kind of being designed because that's how the cycle works. Everybody in the fashion industry was addicted to Downton Abbey. Marc Jacobs for one has admitted to being completely obsessed with it and having those pictures all over his mood boards. And I think you can see in this autumn's collection the influence of those hours spent watching uh, Lady Mary and Lady Edith with their ladies' maids picking things out of their jewel box and buttoning up lots of tiny buttons. Um, some of the designers did it in a very modern way. This, which I'm wearing today, which is actually a two-piece ensemble, uh, is a kind of modern graphic take on the embellishment theme but there are lots of pieces here which are uh, taken in a different direction. So we've got quite a few pieces on the rails here to show you. The first piece is more of a classic Downton look. I think this would be a great top for wearing to give someone very icy looks over the soup tureen. Um, this is Topshop, uh, so not Downton Abbey prices, thank goodness. And it's a kind of very fine weave with very beautiful little glass beads and a daisy and circle shapes on top. I think that's a really, really nice piece. Other designers embraced kind of more exotic traditions in embellishment from India and so on. This is Clements Ribeiro, unfortunately not Topshop, so going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's absolutely beautiful um, with the leather work pieces here and then the tiny mirror work beading here and this whole front panel all stitched onto a kind of background of a, of a fabric which is, which is quite 3D in its own right, so a really beautiful dress. Another of the themes in embellishment this season is that just like in jewellery, which is moving away from just being colourless stones and people embracing coloured stones and coloured gems, the same in embellishment, we are not just looking at diamonds and pearls or, you know, diamante and pearls, but also all kinds of colours. I love this top from Nanette Lepore. It has that sort of... Uh, sweater and necklace vibe to it which I really enjoy because it just makes things a little bit simpler and I love all those colours against the tomato red, it's just beautiful. When you think of embellishment it does tend to conjure up an image that's quite pretty and feminine but there are lots of pieces this season that are really quite hard edged. I think this two piece by Miss Selfridge is absolutely beautiful as a little suit. It's kind of like a suit of armour more than anything else. And then the next two pieces are ones which take that embellishment idea in a kind of more hard edge direction. This is McHugh, the diffusion line from Alexander McQueen. Um, and it's a kind of, it's a, it's a hard edge safety pin dress. It's like the, you know, gets that idea from the Liz Hurley dress with those safety pins around these edges here, but in a much more uh, tough kind of way. And continuing the same theme, this coat from Zara, which has, uh, a lovely kind of soft tweedy shape but then these quite sort of tough armorish epaulettes of um, silver glinting at the shoulders but if all that sounds a little bit too uh, kind of grim um, in the mood then there are lots of much prettier softer pieces I really like this as a two-piece look these are both Zara very very lovely sheer blouse and a skirt which has a touch of the Chanel catwalks about it, which is never a bad thing. And lastly, for something completely different, I really like this from River Island, which is this sort of boho idea. This lovely printed back and uh, a kind of waistcoat with this knitted section around here and this beautiful colour of uh, beads all around here. I don't know if you can see this. One last shopping tip, which very much applies and is super important when you're buying anything, especially on the high street in this, is that uh, we all know that these bits have a tendency to just fall off, which is like the most annoying thing. So when you get in the change room before you pay for the thing, go in the change room, give it a really good shake and see if the beads start falling off. If they do, walk out of there because there is nothing more annoying than a t-shirt with lots of little claws where all your beads used to be. So bear that in mind.